Hello everyone and welcome back to the App Stack Engineer. In today's video, we are going to talk about something really important. In the latest React Native 81 and above, the Safe Area View component is now officially deprecated. But don't worry, I will show you the new and the correct way to manage the Safe Area and the status bar. And I will explain why we actually use them in React Native apps. So let's get started. So first, let's understand what these two components actually do. Safe Area View helps make sure your content stay visible and does not go behind the system. UI elements like a notches and status bar or home indicator. For example, on the iPhone with the notches or the Android phone with the curved edges. If you don't use the Safe Area View, your content or button might be hidden under the top bar, which looks bad in the production apps. Status bar on the other hand is used to control how the actual phone status bar looks like uh, its background color and icon, the color light or dark. The both components are very small detail but make a huge difference in your app and UI user experience. So now I'm going to show you, so this is our Android and iOS. So first I'm going to show you if you use the safe area view how it looks like. You can see this is our app.ts screen but we do not use anything first i'm going to show you the react native project version so you can see so i have the react native 82 version so now i'm going to show you how can we use the safe area view so let me close close this and also make it bigger in the previous version of the react native the safe area view we are going to import from the react native but now we are not going to import the from the react native we need to install some library and that is the safe area view context i will show you that library also so this is the safe area view so we need to use the safe area view context library so let me close this so first i'm going to show you how can we use safe area so we need to import the safe area view provider like this and then just wrap your all screen and let me reload it and we do not see anything like a so this is our android and in android we do not see anything So you can see this is our Android and this is our iOS. We do not see any changes. So now we need to import the safe area view. Save area. You need to import the safe area view from the context like this. And also cover your whole app. And you need to copy the style also like this. And save it. So now you can see different between using safe area view and not using the safe area view so the notches are not visible in the android for that we are going to import the status bar from the react native and still we are not seeing but we need to style the status bar also just type the bar style and we have a dark content and default and light color content let's say so you can see the status bar is now visible so this is the uh, benefit of the safe area view and the status bar we are using so like this we can use the safe area view and status bar in react native so see you in next video for now bye bye